Hello and welcome back. This time we're going to talk about uh, how how we derive better, uh, better, uh, how we inherit better, or how we can inherit. Uh, we want to get the maximum of our inheritance. <laughs> of course, of course, who does not want? Your task here, two years uh, before, was that you have to, to uh, also add an analog output, okay? So, I mean, on our Arduino, analog output and digital output are not that very much different, yeah? Because we learned analog outputs are just BWM outputs, yeah? which I only have another, another uh, thing. I only have to code another another uh, or call another function yeah instead of digital write I'll call analog write and the value uh, the value is now between 0 and 255 yeah but on the same output it's not defined different the same output I can still use digital write set high low book yeah so there's the idea why don't derive the analog output from the digital output class right Hey, this we're going to do, sure. So, file, save as, yeah. multiple, analog, analog, 55, book. This was our program from last video. Yeah. So, I add now a new class and I call it analog output and this is derived from digital output cool yeah? and they all then then I know okay these things I have to do uh, that is the constructors deconstructors and so on uh, this must be public of course public and it's called analog output it will be good and then we simply say a uh, uh, value value and we give a byte value of out that's a new function and the other ones they shall be derived I mean hey why not why not Well, the definition seems to be correct. So let's start coding. Let's start coding. Uh, this one I can copy. Now we will remove this with analog output. <laughs> this is going well. Okay, and then we have analog output. I'll also copy this one. Analog output and not make, it was called value. And byte out. And here I also ha only have to use analog right and still can use digital stuff is it compiling no ah no matching found for call to digital output digital output ah, this stupid default constructor stupid default constructor Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. But nobody's asking me, right? Okay. Ah, again something. Pin number is protected within this context. Why? Analog output pin number. 
here it worked, here it worked, and here I cannot access pin number. I cannot access pin number. Why is that? The thing is, yeah, if I or if the class digital output in this case is inheriting the pin number attribute from its base class, from pin class. It's inheriting pin number. Yeah? This is a protected thing. So this is working. I have access to protected things of my parent class. Good. So here it worked. And here the same thing did no longer work. Why is that? Because here I can specify uh, inheritation description. Yeah? If I write here private. Yeah? Now nothing has changed. It's still if I do the compilation, it's still the same is protected within this context. Yeah? This private here, or if I don't write anything like before, it's also private. Private is the default value. Okay. This private here means everything I inherit is for the next ones private. Within myself, the inherited stuff is private. This means if some derived class from me is trying to access this parameter pin number, it's not working. <laughs> really, it's not working. Yeah. I use here protected. Yeah. Now everything which is derived or which I inherit from a parent class is now set to protect it. And if I now try to compile this, it's working. Okay. So let's have a look on this. Member type can be private, protected, or public. Yeah. This is the thing in the parent class. Yeah? And now I inherit. Yeah? If I inherit private, like I've used before, then private parts of the parent class not accessible. Not accessible. I cannot access it. Yeah? Private parts are private parts. Protected parts, which I can access, yeah, for the for is some is are now private so for my kids these are not accessible also public parts are private okay. that's it let's have a look on the other stuff if i inherit as protected of course private parts are not accessible like before protected parts are now protected And public parts are also now protected. Okay. And if I inherit public, yeah, then private parts are not accessible. All parts which I inherit, all protected parts I inherit are protected, still protected. Protected. Yeah. And all public parts I inherit are now public. Now it's pretty much the same stuff like in the original base class yeah, for my derived classes. Now, since I changed here from private, which was the default value, to protected, the protected value, the protected stuff stays protected. Yeah, and this thing is working. I can compile this now. So even if I use here analog, analog out, yeah, I will now have to change the LED bin to three because only three is able to use PWM yeah, and let's upload the stuff. What is going on? Uh, analog, analog out does not name 
of course it's analog output analog output <sighs> should know what I mean digital output aha uh -huh. you see uh, it's written here digital output is not accessible base of analog output why is this uh, why is this again because I inherited here as protected and here in this class it's not public so I have to inherit this as public is it now working let's see no still not why is this because here I also have to inherit this as public of course because in my program I want to access this method and this method is now private yeah. only here I inherit as public and here now as public now it should work now it should work fingers crossed still not yeah. why is this undefined reference uh, stupid default constructor stupid default constructor I forgot to add this in the code I code this default constructor I don't like it I don't like it I don't like it now it worked Still blinking, still blinking, even if I used now uh, analog output, yeah, this is still blinking, I can still use set and reset. Okay, now I will try analog stuff, so for int e equals zero. And now LED dot value or what was it called? <laughs> value? Okay, value. Value. And now I have to typecast this to byte. Now it should get brighter and less bright again. Let's see what is going on? No, of course not, because I mix this here up. I do this often. I do this often. I ain't good. Why is that? Yeah, because it's too fast simply. Too fast, too fast. So I have to delay here. I will delay 10. See, working. Analog outputs are working. It's working. They are working as digital. They are working as analog. Good. 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 Good.
Right. So. Now we know how to inherit. Yeah? Now we know this inheriting specifiers. But really, this thing here, this annoyed quite a lot. This annoyed quite a lot. Why? How can I get rid of this? Now it's even possible to set a digital output with no pin number. I do not want this. I do not want this. I delete this default constructor. Now it's not working. Uh, or is it not working? Do some type of miracle? No. Pin glass, no match. However, here, CPP. This is the stuff. Yeah? And I can press here, make it list this time. Pin glass. I can give a constructor in my constructor. Okay. Now working. Why is this? Of course, here I also have to do this. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Yeah, this I have to remove. Annoying, annoying default constructor. <laughs> I removed it. You see, just because I use this term here, I can call a constructor of my choice, not the default constructor. I can call a constructor of my choice. So I will also remove this default constructor from digital output. Yeah. I remove this here also. Yeah. I do not have to call the pin number, of course, yeah, because I'm calling the pin class constructor with the pin number. So this will be set in the constructor of the pin class. And here I only have to deal with the stuffs I add. And here also analog output. Digital output call the corresponding constructor with the pin with the given pin number. Here I have to, to I have not to take care about anything. Upload. And still working. Still working. Yeah. <sighs> I finally made it. So we can live without default constructor. That's good because it's annoying anyway. Yeah. We can inherit now with public stuff and so on. And we can use all things we want to have. Isn't that, isn't that great? Yeah. yeah. Analog output. Analog digital output. Object oriented. Next time, next time we're going to hear about input, how to deal with input. Next time we're going to try to get an input object oriented. Eh? We will also discuss things like, like a callback function, what this is. Eh? Well, this will be next in video, next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.